Hello and welcome to the 13th video um, of the Java Fundamentals section of my MTA course. So this will probably be the last video in this section. Um, this is going to be a mock exam and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be leaving questions below the line and then answering them um, in this video. So check below the line and have a go at the mock exam and then we'll go through it together. So if you can get all nine, brilliant, leave a comment, explain, improve or disagree with my answers. If you've got four plus, you've got some good starting places. Um, however, I would, I would suggest going back and looking at some of my videos that I talk about some of this material. Um, if you've got zero and you couldn't answer them, don't worry. Look at some of my videos and then come back and see if you can do it. Do remember if you find these useful, subscribe, like and comment. If there's enough positivity, I can create a new mock exam um, and release another video like this. So do remember, answer the questions below the line before we go through it. Okay, so question one. So we need to decide what is the return type for this. Um, we know we're not returning an integer, so we can get rid of this. We're not returning a string, so we can get this out rid of this. So it's between two voids because we're not returning anything. If we look here, this is a capital and this is a lowercase. And so um, the return type we want to put in is always lowercase. So we want to get rid of the C and the right answer is D. Okay, number two, what does the main, uh, main method do? Let's have a look. So it allows us to call the method without creating a class. It does not do that. Uh, it is a method that is found in every Java program. Well, that is correct. Uh, it does what the code will do. It tells us what the code will do. It's not that. So it's between these two. And because we're asking what is it, what does it do, not where it is found, um, I would say that it's in B. It's the execution start point it's where the code starts so the right answer is b okay number three what allows us to call a method without creating an object well like we said before void is a return type um, main as we said in the last uh, answer this is the starting point method um, public is an access point so it allows us to access that from anywhere so it leaves us with static or you must always create an object. And you don't always have to create an object. So the right answer is D, static. Okay, so the next question, there's an error. What must we do to fix it? Um, so change the, the data type of the object. That's uh, not true because the main, we don't know I know we do know the main uh, object is character, so that's the name of the class, so that's going to be right, so the class is right. Change the return type of the method, um, so we've got void here and nothing's being returned, so that's okay. Uh, change the package main to package video, um, we have the main here, so that's telling the program, so we're in app with the app class, which is that, which means our package is main. Uh, so that is not right. So the only thing what we need to do is make sure that we import that class, that Java file in, so that we can create that object from that class. So the right answer is A. Okay, so the next one, what, which, uh, which one describes what the code does best? Um, so changes the weapons, strength and defense of the class. We haven't actually changed anything else. We're just printing things out here. So it's not going to be that. Create a class and then print out its attributes. So it could be that because uh, we create something, although we're not creating a class, we're creating an object. So that might be wrong. Prints out the, the attributes of the archer object uh, on three lines. So that looks like it could be it. So we can get rid of B because it's a class. Um, although saying this, it's going to be on three lines. And print, what print does is it prints it on the same line. Uh, so prints the attributes of the arch object on one line. So 
that was a quite a tricky one. Um, there was a lot of possibilities, but because print, um, it prints out on one line, even if you have three lines of code. So it's the answer is D. Okay, the next one, which code is incorrect? Um, so this one, you can have an error and you can print it out. So that's okay. With the system out print line, that should be okay because you can print out there. Um, you've got, ah, so what we're doing here with these prints, it's checking you to see if you think uh, that there are multiple methods that you can print out, which you can. But if you look here, it's the capital. So the system, because it's a class, has to be a capital S. So the one that is incorrect is C. So that is wrong, that is wrong, and that one is wrong. Okay, question seven, which line of code gets the data from the user? Okay, so this is an interesting one. Um, so scanner object new, this creates the object, but it doesn't actually get the user's information. This just creates the object so we can ask for it. So it's not that. Uh, this closes the scanner object, so it can't be that. And this prints out the information from the object, so it can't be that. Um, what we need is we need to use a method from the object to, get to ask the user. So in fact, no data will be received from the user. So that's the answer from question seven. Okay, number eight, which, which code would create an object from this class? Um, so we have character so that's the name of the the uh, so that matches up we've got the character the object's name which is fine new and then we have strength which is an int defense which is int and bow which is a string so that looks okay so that potentially could be it this one's missing the data type uh, the object data type so that can't be that this one is saying it's an object, but we want to say it's the character object, so it can't be that. And this one is missing the character here. It's we're saying new character, so it can't be hat. So it's A, this one was, is going to be able to create an object from the class. Okay, so what is this code expecting? Uh, it's expecting an input. Uh, what kind of input? Well, we've got this int, this next int, so it's expecting some kind of number. So it can't be any user, it has to be a number. Can't be a sentence. Uh, it's it's most likely going to be C, a whole number. Displays any information that the user enters? No. So the answer is C. Okay, so if you got all nine right, brilliant, leave a comment. Uh, if you got four or more, um, good. Try and go back over the video, understand some of the why you got some of the answers wrong. Uh, if you've got zero, one, or two, I would say just going back over the videos that I've made and uh, re-watch them. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe to the videos. If this video gets a lot of likes, I can create more mock exams for you. Um, however, if you've got all nine and you find this very easy, then go on to the next section and we'll go and talk more about object-oriented programming in Java. So see you in the next video.